Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. So before we get started today, please go ahead and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And when you subscribe, also go ahead and hit that notification bell if you wanna receive notifications every time a new video drops. So for today, as you can see, I am sporting a bare face. I have nothing on my face right now except for my brows. I went ahead and did those off camera. Um, today, I really wanted to focus on the new ABH products. By ABH, I mean Anastasia Beverly Hills. So the main two stars of the show today are gonna be their new Luminous Foundation. And then also the Jackie Aina eyeshadow palettes, you guys. Oh! I'm just so excited to dig into these products, so let's just go on and get started. Just a quick side note, every product that you see that I use in here today is gonna be cruelty free, as always, anytime I mention anything. I only work with cruelty free brands. I'm just completely against animal testing, so if you didn't know that, now you know. So yeah, everything I use in here, cruelty free. All right, so first things first, I am just gonna go ahead and prime my face. To prime, if you guys have seen a few of my other makeup videos, you'll know my favorite primer ever is the Marc Jacobs Coconut Face Primer. It has like a longer name. I think it's like the Coconut Face Perfecting Skin Primer. But I absolutely love this. It is super moisturizing and I don't know, I just use it with every single makeup look. All right, so now that the skin is prepped, I'm actually gonna go ahead and prep my eyes because I think today I'm gonna go in and do my eyes first. I wanna dig into as much shades of this eyeshadow palette as possible. So in order to avoid any like mess on my foundation, I'm just gonna do eyes first. You know what? I think I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Boom, yep. Up close and personal so you guys can see exactly what is going on. All right, so first I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lids with some concealer. I really just love the Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer in the shade Warm Sand. So I like to prime my eyes when I'm doing like more of a dramatic, more pronounced, eyeshadow look because it just gives us a blank canvas to work with and also the colors are just gonna show up a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna use a little bit of translucent powder to set the concealer. Boom, all right, time to dig into this palette. So first things first, look at this packaging. This is everything. I love that it's nude, but it's still got a little bit of spicy with that iridescent. Oh, I just love this. Okay, so here is a look at the palette. I just really, really love Jackie Aina. She's always stood up for the culture, for people with brown skin, and I just love that. This palette is chock full of beautiful, like super pigmented and warm shades that really work well with dark skin girls, and I am here for it. I also love that this palette just goes from zero to 100. Like you can do like a nude, look if you want, like a brown, rustic, kind of nudish kind of look. You've got your reds and your purples as well for some shocks of color. Like, there's everything in this palette and I think this is really gonna be one of those palettes that I reach for when I'm traveling and I just want one palette with a little bit of everything. This is probably the palette that I'm gonna start reaching for most often. Just off the bat, this is absolutely stunning, beautiful. You killed it already. Like. You killed it. Okay, so today I actually have an event to go to tonight and I am wearing white, so I'm wearing white right now to help me like, you know, make sure the look is gonna go with my outfit later. So I think I'm gonna go with more of like a brownish, rustic kind of eye with like a pop of shimmer in there. I'm not sure which shimmer color we're gonna go with, but we'll figure it out as we go along. All right, so first I'm gonna grab Ginger for my transition shade and just kind of swipe that all over my crease. So I wanna show you guys really quick, I know some people have some issues with this. When I dug into the shadow, there was a little bit of kickback in the actual palette. Personally, that really doesn't bother me, but that's something that I did just want to point out. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a more tapered blending brush and I'm gonna take the shade Edges. It's more slightly of that rust color that I'm really liking, so I'm gonna focus that on like the outer V of my crease. Y'all, look at this pigment. This is gorgeous. All right, so now I'm gonna go back in with Ginger, our transition shade, and just kind of blend back out the edges of edges. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with a slightly more dense brush, as you can see here. So like whenever I'm using 
darker shadows, I like to have a little bit more control so we don't get raccoon eyes. And um, so in order to do that, I will use like a slightly more smaller and denser brush. This is a Morphe brush and this is their Y18 brush from the Gilded Gold Collection. I don't think that's on their website anymore, but I'm hoping that it comes back because I want to order the rest of the collection. It's bomb. All right, so now I'm going to take the dark brown shade of the palette here called Credit. And I'm then going to deepen out my crease a little further. So I'm just packing this on to my outer crease. Now I'm gonna go back in with edges a little bit and just blend this out so it doesn't look as harsh. And then again, one more time with Ginger, which was our transition shade. Again, more blending. The key to getting like a flawless eye look is just patience and a lot of blending. All right, so as you can see, we're starting to get a little bit of that rustic vibe going on here. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with Lituation and see where we go from there. It's like a brownish, purplish shimmer, and I think that might look a little bit cute. You know, just add a little bit of drama to this look. So whenever applying shimmers, I personally prefer to apply with my fingers. That's just me. I get into the shadow and kind of just pack it on my lids to me. I get one really great payoff from doing that, I guess because the shadow gets warmed up on my finger and all that. And two, I feel like I have greater control when I use my fingers. <gasps> look, look at how pretty. Look at how pretty. It's got like a really icy vibe to it, but it's still like a very subtle kind of shade as well. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with our transition color to do some more blending. All right, so I think I'm gonna add a little bit of extra drama and I'm gonna grab Trust Issues and kind of just pack it directly on top of where we applied Lituation and see how they look together. So I'm just focusing Trust Issues more towards the inner corner of my eye. Okay, so now I am gonna go in with the Black Up Lit Cool Smoky Waterproof Eyeliner. All right, now I am gonna take this flat brush. This is also by Morphe. This is their Y21 brush. And then I'm just gonna dip into Credit, which is the darkest shade we use in our crease. And I'm just gonna use that to smoke out the eyeliner. All right, and then in honor of Jackie, she always loves to do her little inner tear duct highlights. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more of that trust issues and further highlight like my inner tear duct here. Just for you, Jackie, just for you. All right, and then now I'm just gonna pop on some lashes to complete the eye look. For mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Tarte Man Eater Mascara to just coat my lashes. And then for lashes, I am using these Ardell Wispies. This is their Faux Mink Wispies. I love these. And I buy these in bulk, obviously. This is pretty. All right, so now that the eyes are done, we are gonna jump into complexion. Yes. Okay, so I actually ordered two shades of the foundation. I did 410C, which is this one, and 430W, which is this one. So I'm not sure if you can really tell on camera. Let me hold this a little better so you can see the product. Ah, yep, you can tell. So here, this one is the 410C, and it's a lot more yellow, whereas this one is like a little bit warmer and slightly more pinky, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch both of them on my face really quick to see which one is gonna work best. All right, I put a lot of products by accident. But this is 410C, and this is 430W. So I'm kind of feeling like 430 might give us a little bit too much orange. I kind of like the yellowy undertone of 410, so I think I'm gonna go ahead with that one. 
All right, so 410 it is, let's do this. I mean, this really is matching my skin perfectly. Do you see that? All right, so I'm shook for two reasons. First, this is really yellow, and it's really hard for me to find foundations that are my shade and like a deep yellow undertone. Like this is super golden, which is why I feel like it's matching my skin so nicely. Second thing I'm shook about is this formula. This just looks straight up like skin. And that dew that we've got going on, I did use a dewy primer as well, so I feel like I'm gonna need to be a little careful. And I'm gonna need to make sure that I set really well with powder so we don't get too crazy. But I'm loving this. This looks just like skin. And y'all, I ordered this online. Like, I wasn't able to go in the store and like test it out or anything, which is why I had to order two shades. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more foundation to kind of test to see if it's more buildable. I feel like right now I have medium coverage. Let's see if we can build this up to full. I like to focus around my mouth area because that is where like I tend to need most of my coverage. Definitely, definitely buildable because I do have an extra level of coverage here. I also do have an extra level of dew going on, you can see, but I'm really interested to see how this sets with powder and how it plays with my concealer, bronzer, and all that other stuff. All right, well, so good so far, and so do we. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in with my concealer, do my bronzer. I'll move through this part a little bit quicker. You guys have seen me do this before. Same kind of technique, usual stuff. This is the final look. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so in love with how this looks right now. So this is the final look, but this is not gonna be the end of the video because I wanna do a little wear test for this foundation. We already know the eyeshadow's booming, right? But I really, really want to put this foundation to the test. So now that we're done with our full face, I'm gonna go live my life, probably go get some food, um, run a couple errands, and then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. I wanna see if this is gonna to get too dewy, out of control. Um, so yeah, I will be back a little bit later. What time is it now? It's 1.30 now and I will be back in a couple of hours to let you know how this foundation is wearing. All right, I am back after two hours out on the road, running up and down, and here is how my face looks. So as you can see in this area, it's only been two hours. Normally I would like to do like a longer wear test, but I've got a really busy evening coming up. So I figured two hours is better than nothing. But already you can see like in this area in the middle here around my nose is getting a little bit out of control. I haven't touched up or anything because I really wanted to show you guys exactly how my skin reacted. My forehead is also looking a little bit more shiny than I would like it to be. But this did say a luminous foundation. So I think what the problem here was that I used a dewy primer with a dewy foundation and a little bit of a dewy setting spray and that's like way too much dewy. I have combination skin so I definitely should not be using all that dewy because then that's just gonna 
cause my skin to look like how it's looking right now and I'm sure as the hours go on it's just gonna get more and more dewy I mean it's not like a hard fix right I can just take like my powder brush leftover powder and then there that already looks like a little bit better so yeah I would suggest using this foundation with like a mattifying powder as well as probably like a mattifying setting spray other than the wear test, I absolutely love how this looks. I really love the color. I love how golden and yellow 410 was. I also love the fact that it's vegan and also fragrance free. My skin is also a little bit sensitive. So the fact that it's fragrance free is amazing to me. Like I love that. I feel like foundation does not need to have fragrance. That's just like an unnecessary Thing. Price point, it is slightly on, I, I don't want to say like the pricey side because there's high-end brands that have like $60 foundations. This retails for $38, so I feel like it's in that middle ground, like middle class type foundation. So I feel like the price really isn't bad. Once the price goes like over $40, $50, then I tend to not get into that price range because to me that's like a little bit too pricey for foundation Especially like for someone like me who does not wear foundation every single day overall would I recommend this foundation a hundred and ten percent. I honestly love it. I love the finish of it. I love dewy skin so I absolutely just love how this looks it just looks like skin it doesn't look cakey or anything that's another thing like it didn't crease up too much I just I really am loving this foundation so far so that's all to do with the foundation in terms of the eyeshadow palette girl get you one right now so this retails for $45 and honestly for like a super high quality amazing palette as it is I think that's a perfect price point I am personally happy to pay that I know I'm bougie some of you might be like girl but I think it's a perfect price point for what you're getting as a brown skin girl there is rarely a palette that you get where you can use every single shade. Jackie came out and she showed out and looked out for us and created a palette where honestly, you can use every single shade in there. Thank you for the brown skin girls. Thank you. If someone asked me today what my number one all time favorite eyeshadow palette is, it would be this. Like, I seriously can't wait to dig back in and try so many different looks. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy this, please go ahead and give a girl a thumbs up. And also just leave some comments below and let me know if you're digging this whole makeup review, wear test kind of vibe. Cause I actually had a lot of fun recording this. So let me know if you're interested in seeing some more of these. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.